Greetings, Daniel Persetto for Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud. And we're going to look at painting in 2.5D, paint in seconds. I have a texture here from my library. This thing is a concrete texture. And I'm going to create a 3D extrusion from it by going to my 3D panel, Create. And it's just a simple extrude a box. I have no desire to use anything else. I'm going to use the front of it. I'm going to use the front to paint on it. So first thing I'm going to do is select the environment. And I'm going to turn off the IBL because it's a little bit too bright. I kind of like where this uh, light is positioned currently right now. And then next, I'm going to select a brush. And you're going to notice in the 3D Properties panel, we now have a 3D Paint Properties in Creative Cloud Photoshop. It's a new Properties panel dedicated to helping you paint more easily in Photoshop. We're going to go through these settings in another tutorial, but for this one, we're going to say Paint On and select Bump. The same menu item in CS6 and it's the same item in CS6 as in this one. It's also on the 3D file menu here, but we put it here for easier access. Now, if I click on the texture, it's going to say you're missing materials in this 3D layer. We cannot paint on a bump texture that does not exist. We have no paint. We have no place to put the paint. So I'm going to say yes. Thank you, Photoshop, for doing that for me. And now I'm going to switch this to black because if I paint on white, you won't see anything. It's just white. And I can open the texture here. I'll show you what I mean. See, there's nothing to see here. But let's go back. You're going to hear me closing these documents, but it's okay. Let's go. Painting on black. All of a sudden, I have bumps. I'm painting on the bump map. And what this is, is black paint being placed on the bump channel here. Let's go ahead and arrange these vertically here so we can see what's going on. So if I paint on here, you'll see that there's paint being splattered. Now, if I change this, and swap the colors to white, it's as if I'm re erasing the bumps off, which I am. I'm taking off the black paint. And you get some really great effects. And that's really all I wanted to show you today. Well, no, one more thing. Let's close this right now. We're going to go ahead and say yes to save it. The reason that it's fun to paint in this is if you go back in 3D, I can't believe I almost forgot this, is you can change the angle of the light. You can change anything you want. So you could imagine doing text in the black channel, I mean in the bump map, or specific designs, and you can mix things with the colors, obviously. If I go back to um, my brush and select the diffuse again and select, you know, an actual color, you know, you can just do incredible things. And we, we created it in this version of uh, Creative Cloud a little bit. We made it easier to create this process. It's just right off the bat, you can create a postcard, a texture, and then just start creating the maps and painting. So I hope you find this useful and creative in your design endeavors or photography or whatever it is that you choose to do. Leave your comments and questions and I'll try to get to them as quick as I can. And thank you for watching.